Okay, so I was not going to do a video today, but I picked up some really cool stuff, so I had to make one. Uh, started off this morning, I usually don't go to garage sales too much, but went to like five garage sales and ended up with nothing. I don't know how people do, how, how these guys just chase garage sales constantly. Um, it is nerve wracking and it's tiring. I think I'll stick to the Goodwills and, and thrift shops like I've, like I've been doing. I've uh, been having some pretty good results. Um, so, we've got a lot of uh, special stuff for you guys today. And uh, it's not too much stuff, but some some good finds. An awesome video game accessory. A really cool sports game. And some, some other items. So, let's get started. Oh, and I forgot about this. So, this was kind of... Uh, I was 50-50 on whether to pick this up or not. Um, do not own a DS, but I mean, it's just cool to have. It's a cool collectible item. Um, I got a couple of DS games, and there's some little sleeves for the DS games. It'll give me a way. It's a way of organizing my games. Uh, got zippers and pouches and the whole nine yards. So, yeah, man. I like that. Uh, Next pickup is the famous Diablo PC. This is the first Diablo. There it is. And up next is NCAA Football 99. Don't ask me who's on the cover. I have no clue. Now, this thrift store that I went to today uh, had a... I guess you'd call it a face discount. Anything in the store that had a face, and the football player has a face, uh, which is a little odd. Uh, not odd that he has a face, but odd that they would do a deal like this. Uh, but anything with a face on it uh, was like, I don't even remember. I think this it was like 30% off or something like that. So I got this for about a dollar, so you can't beat that. <clears throat> Okay. Next pickup, <clears throat> and as I talked to you guys in the past about um, how I don't like sports tiles, but ever since that MVP 2005 PC, I realized how much that was worth. Um, I'm definitely got my close eye on sports titles, and I hit a hell of a gem right here. PlayStation 2 NCAA Football 11. Never would have thought this would be more than just a couple of dollars. Uh, but the fact that it's got God's favorite football player on there, I guess, Tim Tebow. And I want to say this is probably the last year that PS2 made games. So this is probably the last NCAA Football 11. Uh, probably one of the last PS2 games ever uh, put into distribution. So that's probably why it's worth money. And it is complete. And believe it or not... Great condition. It's in mint condition, everything. Um, believe it or not, this game is worth, this old game is worth, well, it's not that old, it's 11, uh, $28 complete. So, yeah, man, that's a really solid uh, sports pickup off of PS2. Loving it. All right, that trash out of the way. I think I got some half price book stuff in here. Um, first pickup from uh, half price books, I have Star Fox 64 on the Nintendo 64. Uh, yes, I did pay, that's probably the most I've paid for a game in a while. Um, I don't know why it's having trouble visualizing. Uh, 1999 for that. Uh, Star Fox is obviously a famous uh, flying series. Don't remember if the Star Fox 64 was a very good game. Uh, some of the games were great, some of them weren't. This might be one of the ones that weren't, but I, I just I haven't done any research on it, so I'm not sure. But anyway, that's a uh, uh, a classic pickup right there. I would definitely be keeping this in my collection. Happy about picking that one up. Somewhere in this mess of bags, there's something else. I'm sure. Oh yeah, Snoopy. 
Next pickup is PlayStation 2 Snoopy the Red Baron. I think the directions are missing. Um, the game is in there. Uh, supposed to be a pretty good game. Got really good reviews, actually. Flying game. And let's see if there's anything else. Oh, yeah. Hate the fact that there's stickers all over this. Um, off the NES, Dragon Warrior, the first one. I mean, it's got a Randall sticker, a uh, price sticker from Goodwill, some other bullcrap barcode sticker, tape on it, more Randall stickers. It's kind of aggravating. Some of the later titles of Dragon Warrior are worth a lot of money. Unfortunately, Dragon Warrior is worth a little bit, but it's not worth as much as the... Uh, the latter games in that series. But anyway, it's a classic, uh, great game. One of the few RPGs I've actually played a lot of. And I think we got one more game here. Picked this up from a Goodwill. Um, and I got this for $2.99. Uh, Micro Machines. I think I've heard good stuff about this. Uh, racing game with the micro cars. And the directions are missing, but the disc is in there. And I don't know if I went over. This one was $5.99. This one was $5.99. And that Tim Tebow game was $3.50, but it's 30% off, so it's like three bucks for a game that's worth 30 bucks. <clears throat> Alright, now to the uh, big stuff. So I could not believe. This thrift store that generally has nothing had this beauty right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. This huge box. I've never even knew that they sold anything close to this. Uh, Aura or Aura Interactor Virtual Reality Game Gear. This is a classic pickup right here, man. Listen to this. Feel, punches, explosion, kicks, uppercuts, slam dunks, crashes, body blows, and more. Works with Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. Adjust to fit all sizes. Look at this right here. Look at this guy all geeked up. A guy, even a kid, This look how nerdy he looks. I cannot believe they sold something like this. I definitely will not be using this playing games. I'm not even going to go there. Something probably the 40-year-old virgin on the movie would have uh, on one of his shelves. Um, but yeah, I mean, that being said, still epically friggin' cool. Um, now, here's the problem. I never even opened it, which is a big no-no. So I could open this right now. It could be a friggin' Afghan or something. I'm going to do an unboxing, I guess. <clears throat> oh, it opens that way. Cool. Oh, wow. This is a good sign. That they have these cables here in a plastic bag like it's very organized. Look at this thing. This is unreal. They have all the directions. Everything. I don't even know what this is. This is blowing my freaking mind. I guess that that's your power pack. Look at this thing. No one can tell me this is not freaking cool. In a nerdy way, this is awesome. Look at this, man. An electronic video game interactive backpack. That is so unbelievably cool. Alright, guys. I'm going to end it there. I am thrilled that I picked this up. I've been given, given, uh, getting a little bit of grief about not showing my face on these videos, so I just want to say something really quick. I mean, this is very true. When you had a dog, when you have a dog for many years, you do start looking like that dog. I don't know if you ever heard that expression. I'm a huge Miami Heat fan, so don't be startled when you see me because I do look a lot like LeBron James. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys my face so that you believe me. What's up, guys? I uh, hope you enjoyed my video. Um, I will not be wearing that geeky backpack, I promise. Only to test it out. Uh, later, guys. Peace out. Go Miami Heat.